Hey guys, back Kentucky Range Time, back with another 8.6 Blackout Supersonic Gel Block Test. And today we're looking at the Barnes TTSX bullet. And uh, this is the 185 grain bullet. And we previously tested the 160 grain and the 210 grain. And in an upcoming video, uh, we'll also be taking a look at the 225 grain. So that will be four of these Barnes TTSX bullets uh, for 8.6 Blackout, uh, all in supersonic loadings. Um, let's turn around and take a look at the, uh, at the actual loading components on this one, and then we'll head out to the range, and we'll be back here in just a minute. So here's a quick look at the loading for this. Uh, we're running 32.4 uh, grains of accurate 1680 over uh, CCI 200 large rifle primers. And of course, the uh, 338 185 grain TTSX bullet. Brass for this loading is Hornady 6.5 Creed converted brass. This is uh, some of the brass that I uh, converted when I first started loading for this caliber. And there is a good look at this bullet and about how much of it is seated down in this case. So, uh, all right, guys, let's head out to the range and we'll be back over here in just a minute. Hey guys, next up we've got the 8.6 Blackout back out and we're going to be checking the, uh, the Barnes TTSX 338 caliber 185 grain bullet. Uh, we're going to be putting it in the gel block and running it on the Garmin Cero C1 Pro here getting velocities. I've got five rounds loaded up. We'll do at least three of these. Uh, I want to get multiple catches if possible and get multiple velocities. And, uh, Hopefully from there we'll be able to, to determine you know, what these things are going to do. So let's get right into it. gel block set so low well we got a velocity 22 15.4 <laughs> we also took out the Garmin and got a gel block down so Go see what all we've got out here. All right, guys. So this is the uh, barn CTSX 185 grain, and. Uh, we get expansion starting off here about an inch, inch and a half. Got nice expansion, about two inches. We got a pretty large permanent wound cavity here from about two and a half inches out to about five. And then it settles down. We got copper fragments in here at about seven and eight inches, more ballistic tip at nine. Uh, another copper fragment there at about 10 and a half. Uh, we kissed the table, the, the steel plate on the table here at about 12 inches. Uh, and then it kind of curves back up a little bit. We've got more copper here at 18, and we did get a catch all the way down here at, appears to be 31 inches. Let's go to the other side and take a look at it. So here's the wound track coming down. You can see those copper fragments laying in there. And there's a little friend come in for a visit. He gets on the gel block, it might be his last visit. Anyway, uh, tracking right on down through here, here is our bullet. We are sitting at about 31 and three quarters inches of penetration. And guys, look like that one opened up fairly nicely. Let's go back and put one or two more in here and see what kind of consistency we get on this expansion and uh, what kind of penetration we get. We actually, if, uh, if I pull this up and don't bounce it off the table, we may actually get a little bit more penetration on this as well. So, all right, next shot coming up. Guys, shot two with the Barnes 185 grain TTSX. And let's see if I can not take out the Garmin this time. Nope. <laughs> but we 
did keep the gel block on the table this time. We did not get a velocity with that one though. All right, guys, so one track is right here for this one. I actually put that a lot closer to that one than what I wanted to. Uh, we got the about the same expansion. Uh, looks really similar to the first uh, to the first shot as far as permanent wound channel, temporary cavity, copper shards coming off. Uh, we did bounce off the table again down here, and we got a final penetration of 28 and three quarter inches and appears we have really good expansion on that. So, all right, let's go try one more of these. <laughs> all right, guys, Barnes CTSX, uh, 185 grain, shot number three. And I have moved the Garmin down into the chair. I'm actually gonna shoot kind of over it this time uh, in an attempt to get low enough to, uh, to keep these bullets from angling down in the gel block and skipping. So, let's see if we can get this done any better this time. All right. So I didn't wipe out the Garmin, and I actually did get a velocity that time of 2197. And I think I got a good straight catch this time as well. All right, so one track is right in there with the other ones. And once again, I, I'm going to have to aim, I guess, almost at the top of this block. I'm aiming about two-thirds of the way up from the bottom. And uh, I know the offset on this red dot is quite a bit, but... This is a, a little much. Looks like we ran out here uh, about 30 inches with our third shot. I'm actually gonna go back and do another one. So Barnes TTSX 185 grain shot number four and eight six blackout. Ejection on that one. All right, let's go see what that one did. All right, guys, wound channel starting right here. We get good expansion by an inch, inch and a half. Nice big permanent wound cavity in here from about two inches down to about seven or eight inches with this one. And uh, got all the copper shards, the ballistic tip coming out. Uh, notice that 3R twist and the rotation that's on this bullet as it's going through. Uh, we crack right on down into the second block and we take a big curve as it goes into the second block we got another large area right here. It looks like it might have been um, turn a little bit more. Maybe a little smack off the plate right here. I didn't see a mark underneath it like I did the other ones. But then it straightens out with straight line penetration. We exit the gel block here, bounce off of this block, and I picked it up off the ground over here, and right here it is. This is a 210 grain, and that is a look at the expansion. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the fifth one, guys. I wanna to try to get just one absolutely clean catch on these. All right, we did not get a velocity on that previous shot. So we've got two of four velocities. We've got basically four or four catches. Uh, three have definitely skipped off the table. The fourth one possibly could have skipped off the table. And I'm gonna shoot the fifth one. I was aiming about an inch and a half down from the top on that last shot. I'm gonna actually aim over top the gel block with this shot just to see if we can get a catch. Well, 
we've got a lot better shot placement with that one. We did not get a velocity. Still two on the velocity. And hopefully, we've got a lot cleaner catch. Let's go down and check. All right, guys, the entry is right here about an inch and a half down, and this is a absolutely gorgeous permanent wound cavity in here. This bullet did amazing. Uh, opened up by an inch, uh, massive permanent wound channel down about six and a half inches. We've got lead or we've got copper fragments coming off here at eight, eight and a half inches, and spiral rotation. Check out that spiral rotation. It's just corkscrew in its way all the way down through here and guess what no catch we exit the block out of the top at 25 inches so can't go high can't go low i just can't get a clean catch on this one all right so i have uh one more bullet to test i've got the 225 grain ttsx and that'll be coming up in a in a video here pretty soon right after this one so Let's get back to the shop and we'll dig these out and take a, a more in-depth look at everything. All right, so here's our results and uh, just nice expansion out of this bullet. Uh, you know, we, we shed some pedals uh, bouncing off the steel plate on the bottom. I'm sure probably contributed to some of that weight loss, but uh, this, is, uh, this is some nice expansion here. So average expansion, there's a couple of slides coming up here in a minute that's gonna have um, it's going to have the expansion for each one of these, but the average expansion over these four loads was uh, 108%. It was 0.704, and the average weight retention was 170.7 grains. So we lost about 15 grains of uh, copper on average for these three loads, and that includes a ballistic tip. So, you know, not, not bad at all. So right guys, there it is, the Barnes TTSX in 338 caliber or 8.6 blackout in this case. And uh, I had emailed Barnes uh, a couple of months ago when I was doing the other supersonic uh, load test for this caliber. And Barnes indicated that down to 1700 foot per second with these TTSX bullets that you could expect 1.7 times expansion uh, with this bullet design. So. Uh, the ballistic chart that's coming up in the slideshow right after I get done talking here, uh, if you look at that, you'll see that uh, 1,700 foot gets you between 250 and 300 yards with this bullet and still getting 1.7 uh, times expansion. So that's a pretty good number, and, and that's a pretty good range. Now, past that, you're still humping 185 grains of 338 diameter copper uh, on down range and you know you're not going to get the expansion necessarily you might but even if you don't you're still punching a nice big hole uh, through something so uh, anyway uh, questions leave me in the comments uh, this is my third fourth supersonic load test uh, for this caliber and uh, I have a hundred I have a 225 grain TTSX uh, video coming up right behind this one here and that actually will have all four of the Barnes TTSX bullets that they make for 338 caliber tested and, and uploaded uh, into my videos so go back and check those out and uh, as always guys thanks for watching if you haven't already please hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already hit my link tree uh, tab here that's gonna already pop up after the slideshow and go check out all the affiliates that, uh, that I, I have set up in my, my affiliate um, advent uh, on my link tree. And if you normally shop at any of those companies, please uh, start from my link tree and, and hit that tab. And then when you go shop there, that'll generate a little bit of revenue for my page. Uh, and as far as the commission on any sales from their website, and that's what supports the page. That's what buys the bullets and, and the powder and, and keeps everything moving over here. And uh, so if you get a chance to do that, I'd really appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching. Matt from Kentucky Range Time. We'll catch you on the next one.